Hey guys, this is Tammy Fournier and welcome to TV Tray Tuesday. I am so excited to be here again. I have not done TV Tray Tuesday in a couple of weeks and I have been so sad about it. Those of you that follow my Facebook page, Fournier 5 Design, um, saw the issues that I had over vacation while I was camping. I wanted to, to do a TV, TV Tray Tuesday from the campground, but technical difficulties stood in the way and the powers that be decided it was not going to happen. So um, I was a little bit sad about that, but nonetheless, I am back with you guys today and we are going to crank this card out because I came out here and it was predicting rain today. I came out, things were fine, and then all of a sudden, boom, as I go to turn the camera on, it started raining and there's even a rumble of thunder off in the distance. But I was determined I was going to get this done today. I miss you guys. I want to stamp with you. I want to make a card with you. So let's get rolling before this rain gets too bad and because I really have no idea what type of storm this is supposed to be. So we're going to live dangerously. We are out on my porch and we're going to make this birthday card. Um, I'm going to talk to you a little while I'm explaining the card so that we can we can get through this. Um, I wanted to do a birthday card. My daughter's boyfriend's birthday is tomorrow and I was going to make his birthday card with you today. So um, this is the card that we're making. Um, it's a masculine, more of a masculine card. It is a gift card holder. So it's a little bit of a, I guess you could say fun fold card. Not really a fun fold, but it is an extra fold so you could put a gift card in there. I'm sorry, I didn't grab put my gift card. So we got put the little gift card in there. Perfect. And you got that. Okay? So this is what we're going to make. The stamp sets that we're using. We are using Picture Perfect Birthday right here, which is today we celebrate wonderful, brilliant, fabulous you. And we're going to use the Treat Yourself. Um, so I have made this card before um, very festively. When I think of a birthday card, I think of festive colors, pinks and blues and purples and all of the bright colors. But I wanted to make this more masculine. And I took out this Broadway Broadway bound paper, designer series paper that we have. Well, this paper does not offer a lot of color options. It's gorgeous paper, don't get me wrong. It is absolutely beautiful. One side of it is printed, whereas the other side of it has um, like gold foil incorporated in it. It's beautiful. Um, but the printed side, you get the, what you see here for colors is pretty much what the whole stack of paper is like. You get lemon lime twist, lovely lipstick, um, gray granite, and basic black. That's pretty much covers it. So I was at a loss trying to figure out what to do with this card because I'm so used to the bright, fun, festive colors. But I was determined that I was going to make it work with a little help from my 11 year old's input, which I will tell you about while we're stamping. Um, this is what we came up with. And so, um, so yes, the picture perfect birthday, that is lovely. And then, like I said, usually, um, the last time I made a card like this, I would put like sprinkles on it, all various color sprinkles, but I didn't want to do that. That's not manly. So I found these little um, diamonds, I guess you can say. Um, diamonds in this stamp set, the right there. And it also had the party hat, which worked perfect with our party hat in the paper. This is, well, this is Broadway birthday, which actually coordinates with the Broadway bound paper. So it only makes sense that they would have similar images. This is a great, great set. Um, the cardstock that we're using, we have, oh, I hear the rumbling, I hear the rumbling. We have our base piece which is lemon lime twist and that's cut at four and a quarter by eleven and I scored it at five and a half the way you would score a, a regular card but then also score it 
at two inches. And that's where we get our fun, our little fold there. Um, we also have our piece of gray granite, which is going to be our inside piece. And that is cut at four by five and a quarter. We have our outside piece of designer series paper, which is cut at three and a quarter by four. We have our inside piece that's gonna cover our little flap down here. See what I mean about, now you can't see it a lot, but the gold in here, it actually sparkles. See this side is, it's a matte picture color, but on this one, this, it actually, it, it's little, it's sparkly. You can't see it a lot in this one. There's some other, um, papers that are just, I mean, it's in your face, like glitzy bright. It's awesome. It's so pretty. Um, but this is what we're using for that. And this is one and three quarters by four. And we have a little piece of whisper white, two by two and basic black, two and a quarter by two and a quarter and a tiny little piece of lemon lime twist to stamp our little party hat. Party hat. All right, people, let's get stamping. Um, oops, I do not want to put those in there. And let's stick those right on over here for now. And we're going to get this on out of our way. We are going to start with our stamping. I'm going to lay this. Actually, I'm going to pull in my stamping pierce mat. Um, our photopolymer stamps stamp best with a little bit of extra cushion. So I'm putting this in here now. I'm not laying it down, but I'm putting it in just to give me an idea of where I'm going to be able to stamp. So I'm going to take my lovely lipstick. Oh, my dogs are going to start barking. My husband is driving up now. Oh, heavens. The dogs are not outside today. Um, yep. And he's coming up with his ginormous truck, so that would probably be the noise that you are hearing. Not sure if the video is picking it up. All right. So we want to make sure that we're going to get this. Ah, and I am not right-handed, so this is... Okay, here we go. Got it. Line that up where you want it, and plop it down. We're going to give it a minute. Get that ink to transfer. Beautiful. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. Awesome. Now, sticking along with this, actually, no, you know what? We are going to, while we have the red out, we're going to stamp our little treat yourself. We're going to move that out of the way for a second. I'm going to try to be efficient with our ink, if that's even possible. <laughs> I'm sure I'll forget something. Okay, we're going to stamp our little treat yourself in the lovely lipstick. Trying not to get my head in the shot here. And going to put that right in the center. Wonderful. We're going to stick that aside. We don't need that right now. We're going to get rid of that. We can close up our lovely lipstick because that is all we need that for. Oh, I just stuck my thumb in it. Oh my goodness. I better make sure my thumbs are clean. It would be just like me to go touch in the card with inky fingers. Okay, moving along. We're going to take this back and we're going to take that cute little diamond pattern and we're going to sprinkle that around. We're going to put it in the corners. Right about there. And down there. We're going to go all four corners. Actually, I was going to say one more, but I think we're going to do, 
I'm going to put another one over in this area here. So I'm actually, I'm thinking if I put it by the U, that'll give me, that'll give me enough room. Put it underneath the U like that, right up against it. We should be good. Well, know how I told you my husband was driving up the driveway? Well, he just informed me that it is going to start pouring. Okay, so we're going to crank. Let's get this done. We can do this. We can do this. I have pushed my chair back. So I am trying to get as close to up near the house and away from the front of the porch as possible. So uh, we're going to get this on here. Let's pull our card base in. get that all lined up. That's a fabulous thing about the glue. I did not show you. This is the Tombow liquid adhesive glue. It's awesome. Gives you a little bit of wiggle room. Um, there you go. So we got that is done. Oh, there we go. Now, the front of the car. We're going to brush this with gray granite. I'm going to tell you a little story about the gray granite while we're brushing this. Um, this wasn't my original intention. My intention was to have it on the card like this, which you can most certainly leave it that way. But for some reason, it looks stark to me. And I have a very opinionated 11-year-old son. He is very artistic, and I love his input. He loves to give me his input, and I love to hear his input. Well, he came down, and he told me that he did not feel that the party hats were masculine. He did not think that grown men wore party hats. So we chatted a little and I talked to him about, you know, different things. And I showed him the different types of papers and what I had to work with for masculine-ish papers. And he was then like, oh, okay, yeah, I guess. But I could tell he wasn't overly pleased with the whole thing. So. He went back upstairs and I sat there and I stared at the paper and he was right. It looked, not that it didn't look masculine enough, it was too stark white just sitting there like that. So I thought, okay, gray granite, we grunge up the edges, make it all look nice and grungy and mucky, you know, perfect for a guy. And uh, when I had him come back down, he liked it much better. Along with this piece here. He originally did not want me using this piece. Did not think the glimmery things in there were going to be guy worthy. But once we grunged it, I asked him, I said, do you think I should change it? Because he had another piece picked out, which I was going to do. I was going to switch up for him. And uh, after I grunged up the edges of this, he said, nope. He goes, I actually like that now. It looks good. So use that. So that is what we did. Um, kid cracks me up. He's very artistic. He's very opinionated. I love his opinion. But, um, gosh, he is, he is a hoot. He's not afraid to tell me what he thinks look, looks good and what doesn't look good. And one last piece. We are going to brush our treat yourself. I am really trying to rush here. I can hear the rain. And actually, I can, I can feel it. I can feel the humidity, humidity in the paper, in the cardstock. It is uh, quite humid. Okay, so we're done with that. We're going to get these all stuck together. Let's put this down on the front of our card. See? Oh, look at that. See? This is what I was talking about. Isn't that gorgeous? All of the backs of this paper has some sort of something with gold foil in it. It's beautiful. Okay. Oh. I am super excited. My daughter is on her way home from Greece today. She's not going to be home till later on tonight, but she's been gone for 10 days and I'm very, very excited to see her. 
Okay, so there's that. We're going to put our piece of paper on our little flap and get that closed up. We are almost on this card. Come on, guys, we can do this. We can beat the storm. If I can get the glue on there correctly. Holy Hannah. Okay. Um, for those of you um, not familiar with TV Tray Tuesday, if this is your first time watching, I know I didn't really explain it a whole lot in the beginning. Um, I try to make a card that is super quick, easy, and with as few items, not with not a whole lot of items, um, basically so it could all fit on a TV tray. And I am out on my front porch, which is where I usually try to be. However, um, I'm sure that's going to come to an end when the weather starts going, you know, lousy for the winter. But uh, for right now, we're on the porch. Um, where is, there we go. When you're using something with a gift card, I always like to put the gift card in it before trying to seal it. That way it helps the paper kind of like form around it a little bit. So I'm going to do that. Make sure that's, oops, that's down. Gave it a little bit of a, a rim, if you will. Okay. And just hold that down for a second. Okay. All right. We're going to grab our piece of basic black, two and a quarter by two and a quarter, and we're just going to place that on at an angle. Oh, so guys, Stampin' Up, <clears throat> see if I can talk today, Stampin' Up has um, special... going on um, right now. It's called Bonus Days. If you, any any order you place, uh, for every $50 you spend, you get a $5 coupon code to use next month. And next month, dun, 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 the new catalog, the holiday catalog gets released. Yes, I know holidays. You don't want to think of it right now. But let me tell you, I've gotten a peek at that holiday catalog, and I've actually put my pre-order in. Oh, my gosh. They have some beautiful Christmas stuff. Oh, it's amazing. Okay, we're going to put this on just like that. Place it where you want. Love it. And that is going to be it for our glue. Um, our last thing we have to do is stamp our little party hat. So we will grab that. And we will take our party hat. Now, with this stamp set that I'm using, the, the Broadway birthday, it does have a framelit set to go with it. You don't, by any means, need the framelit set. You're not required to purchase it as a bundle. It does come as a bundle, so you save 10% buying it that way. But if you just wanted the stamp set, you could totally do that. And this little birthday hat could easily be cut out and fussy cut super easily. And by the magic of video, I have one already cut out. So that you do not have to sit here and watch me fussy cut a little hat. So here's our hat. We're going to throw a couple of little mini dimensionals on it. Throw one down there. And one a little bit higher. It will not fit on the little pom pom thing. Trust me, I tried. Didn't want to stay. Okay, come on. Go. Oops, nope. I got it. Okay. And all you're going to do is pop this little guy, like put it on on your words, kind of like it's it's sitting on the words, like your sentiment is wearing the party hat, if you will. You can angle it wherever you want. I mean, you don't have to put it there. You can put it over there. You can put it down low. I chose to put it up here. There we go. There's that. 
And last, I have some iridescent, iridescent twinkle adhesives, or um, little stars. I was kind of twitching because to me this needed something and I would normally put bling or rhinestones. I debated black rhinestones but I figured that still wouldn't be manly. Um, I found these and I thought okay well I think these could work. They're just little shiny stars. There's nothing feminine about a star right? Um, so and I even I did get approval from the 11 year old. He said that stars were okay so Oh, and I got them stuck. Okay, hang on a second here. Oh, heavens. They don't want to. There we go. He said that he felt the stars were good. So, we're going with the stars. Pop one there. And we'll do one more. You always want to do an odd number. It is more pleasing to the eye. There you go. And we got our little stars. Gonna stick our little gift card in there. And our card is done, guys. Look at that. Isn't it awesome? Isn't it super cute? And it's so manly. You know, that, that dirty, grungy edge that describes it all right there. <laughs> yeah, <that's nice. laughs> so, thank you so much for hanging with me today. Um, we made it. It's raining, but it's not like it, it could definitely have gotten a lot worse. So I'm pretty psyched that uh, that we made it through this, and uh, I'm pumped because I really, really missed you guys, and I wanted to be back stamping with you. Please go find me um, on my Facebook page at Fournier Five Design. Um, if you're interested in learning more about the products used in this card. Um, you can visit my website, um, which is also my online store, scrappystamper.stampinup.net. You can email me at stamphappy at yahoo.com. Um, if you want the ingredients for the card, I am in the process of getting my blog up and running, and so I hope to have all the ingredients on there. If you are interested in that, please feel free to email me or even message me on Facebook, and I'd be happy to give you the um the, the um, dimensions if you are not able to to hear them on the video but um, I hope you have a wonderful day if anybody is interested oh one last thing before um, um, I talked about bonus days and then rolled into kind of briefly talking about um, the new catalog the new holiday catalog is coming out in September if you would like me to mail you a copy please drop me a note and I will add you to my list and you will get one in your hot little hands as soon as they go live have an awesome day guys I love you all enjoy the rest of your Tuesday bye